Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about TextBlaze and how I use it alongside ChatGPT. Now, whether or not you use ChatGPT, you can get a lot of use out of TextBlaze because it's a Chrome extension that honestly changes up how you do work. Let me show you. Okay, so as you can see, uh, just on their website, it says eliminate repetitive typing and mistakes. That's literally what TextBlaze does. If you want to follow along, the link is in my description if you want to check it out while we're doing this tutorial here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right to my dashboard. I already created an account. It's free to sign up. So this is what the dashboard looks like. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a snippet. So I'm going to click the plus button. And I already have a snippet in mind. So I'm going to do a newsletter promotion. And I'm going to just label it newsletter. I already copied and pasted the text I'm going to use for this, so I'm kind of cheating. But so basically, the label is simply what you want to label your snippet. No one's going to see this but you. And you can see in the left side, it says newsletter promotion. This is the shortcut I will use when I go to use said snippet. Now, inside of the text box is what you want to put your snippet. So this is going to be the lengthy amount of text or imagery that you want to continuously use, whether it's via email, ChatGPT, et cetera. I'll show you that in an example. But since I already created the text, I'm just going to paste it in here. Now, I promote my newsletter pretty frequently, and it gets to the point where I have to type it over and over and over again. That's why TextBlaze is so amazing, because now I don't have to do that. So now you see here, I have my two snippets. I've got blog post prompt, which is for ChatGPT, and then I have my newsletter promotion. I'm going to show you both of these in action right now. So first up, I'm going to go to my email, and I'm going to pretend I'm sending an email. So pretend I said, you know, hey, it was great catching up with you at the cafe. Now let's say I want to promote my newsletter, but like I said before, I don't want to have to type out the same thing over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my snippet. So my snippet was newsletter. As you can see, as I finish writing newsletter, it automatically knew to put in the text I already created. So you can see how fast that is. So imagine anything you have, whether it's for school, work, personal, just having these snippets ready to go at all times is going to save you a ton of time. And just to show you one last example, how I use it in ChatGPT. So as a blogger, I tend to use ChatGPT to speed up my workflow, to brainstorm ideas. And one of the ways I use it is I take press releases from companies that send me press releases. And I basically will, uh, to, to digest the content, I will use ChatGPT. So what I do is I type in my snippet, which is blog. And it automatically typed out what I have saved. So you are a professional copywriter. I'll provide you with the press release, yada, yada, yada. You can read it if you want. But you can see that these are a great way to have prompts ready to go at all times. Because if you're a ChatGPT user like myself, you have a ton of prompts that you use frequently. And now you don't have to type them out or keep them in like a, a document somewhere and just copy and paste. You can just type it right through your snippet. So I hope this demo of TextBlaze was useful for you guys. As I said before, the link is in the description down below. Uh, I find that it is a complete game changer. You know, when you pair that with something like ChatGPT, my workflow is just insane. I'm able to get so much stuff done so quickly. And I just really love tools like this, especially that they're free. If you want to get a like almost unlimited amount of snippets, you basically can upgrade your account, which I haven't done so yet, but I think I will because I'm getting so obsessed with creating snippets just to speed up my workflow that I can see myself paying the, it's only like three or so four dollars a month. So it's actually kind of worth it. If you guys enjoyed this video and you got a lot out of it, please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment with how you think you'll use it, and hit the like button. See you next time. Peace.